guys, it's Jen with Poppins Approved and I'm back with another review for you. This is actually going to be a comparison review of these Lily Jade bags that I own. So Lily Jade was kind enough to send me this uh, Shaylee bag right here for review and uh, we actually decided that I was going to do a comparison review comparing these other two bags that I own. So this bag over here is the Megan in Canvas. This bag in the center is the Shaylee, and the bag over to the right is the Madeline bag. So, first of all, I just want to explain the things that are pretty much exactly the same on all the bags that I really love. All three of these bags have three ways to carry them. So, you can carry them with the tote straps. All of them have a really, really great drop length on them, so they fit comfortably over your shoulder. And I think the Shaylee actually has the longest drop length. When I looked online, it said that the Megan bag and the Madeline bag have 11 inch drop drop and the Shaylee has a 12 inch drop drop. So they're all a really good length and I love how comfortable they are. Uh, they also all have the messenger strap that you can put on the D-rings on the sides to wear it crossbody and they all have the option to wear it as backpack style. So all of them have this option, which I, is my very favorite way to carry it. All Lily Jade bags have really nice, smooth zippers. Usually when you have a metal zipper like this with the metal teeth, um, it can get stuck, it can get caught, and it catches a lot. And with these, with these zippers, I never have that issue. They're always smooth. So Lily Jade has done a really good job picking out really quality materials for their bags, which I really appreciate. Speaking of quality materials, uh, these two bags over here, the Shaylee and the Madeline that I have are both in all leather. And this uh, Megan bag over here is actually in a canvas material and it has some leather accents with it. It's premium leather, it's soft, it only looks better with time. And this canvas is actually a really nice thick canvas so it's pretty durable. All three bags have really great details and they're all different kind of details. Um, of course, all three have the beautiful tassel, which Lily Jade is known for. And then all the bags have their own special, unique look. So the Megan bag has this these buckle accents, has a little more detail on the handles. Uh, the Shaylee bag has zippers on the pockets on the front, and the Madeline bag is just open pockets. So they're all a little bit different, but they each, but, and the Madeline has this really cute zipper and flap in the front. They all have really pretty hardware. This Megan bag that I have and the Madeline bag both have silver hardware. This Shaylee bag has the gold hardware. So staying on what's the same in the bags, all three of the bags have pretty similar insides. So there's a zipper on the top. They all have these little snaps here so that the insert will attach on both sides. All three of them have that. And then they all three have a zipper, a key clip, and then on the other side there's two little slip pockets so that you can use this as a purse when you want to leave your insert with, um, let's say, like a babysitter. All three of these are essentially the same on the inside, but obviously they're a little bit different sizes, which we'll go over in just a second. Okay, so here's the fun part. Now we're going to talk about what's different about these bags. Um, first of all, I want to mention that the logo on the Madeline is different than the logo on the Shaylee and the Megan. The Shaylee and the Megan are newer bags. The Madeline is one of their original bags. So the Madeline has the logo actually stamped into the leather, which is pretty unique and interesting. The Megan and the Shaylee have this new metal plate that has the logo on it. And so whatever looks better to you, whatever you're more into, obviously the metal plate kind of is a little more shiny and stands out more. And the Lily Jade stamp into the leather is a little more discreet. These newer bags have hardware on the handles. So there's some hardware right here on the handles. Whereas on this Madeline bag, it's just stitched into the leather. And one reason that I actually like the hardware on the handles better is because of the tassel. The original version just has the tassel just around the strap and it tends to slide down when, especially when I'm wearing it on my back. So like that, it kind of slides down and kind of <laughs> hits me in my back. So 
um, it's not a huge deal and I usually just tie, make sure this is on the top really good before I put it on but I do like that these newer bags have the hardware here so that I can attach my tassel onto it and I don't have to worry about it ever moving or sliding at all so that's something that I like and also you can see that the handles lay a little bit flatter because the hardware allows it to lay flat whereas on this Madeline bag the handle kind of goes up and out a little bit if you can see from the side maybe a little bit better so it kind of goes up and over I also wanted to mention the Shaley is pretty special because if you can see from the side they all have the metal hardware the metal d-ring so that you can attach your messenger strap or you can attach these to a stroller with stroller clips um, but something cool about the Shaley bag in particular is it has this snap on this on both sides so that you can actually snap your corners down it gives you another option for how you want your bag to look so if you want your bag to look more like a more boxy or if you want it to look a little more slouchy looking then you can you have that option with the Shaley bag which I think is a really cool feature. The Shaley and the Megan both have these metal feet on the bottom whereas the Madeline bag just is the plain leather on the bottom so I think they were trying to make their bags a little bit nicer and added those feet even though the leather is quite durable I don't foresee a problem with the just having the leather on the bottom. The pockets on the outsides of all of these are a little bit different and probably the most different would be this Megan bag so I'll talk about that first. The back of the Megan does not have any pockets. Both the Shaley and the Madeline have these nice long zippered back pockets where you can where I like to put a full-size wallet and it's easily accessible there for me. The Megan, on the other hand, does not have any back pocket, but it does have this front snap pocket where a full-size wallet will fit very easily as well. So you either have the option of a bigger pocket that's with the snap or the zippered back pocket. And then on the sides of the Megan, you also have a couple other snap pockets. And these are smaller compared to the other pockets on the other two bags. So these would be just for like small essentials that you're needing to get to quickly. Um, it's nice that they're there and I think these buckle accents are really, really cute. And it's my favorite look compared to the other two. I want to compare for a minute just the Shaley and the Madeline because I know a lot of people are wondering about these two specifically because they are similar in size. The Madeline has this little flap here which I think add an element of style to the bag. It looks really cute, but function wise, it's not everyone's favorite to have a flap. It's kind of bugs some people because this flap is so small. It's not really a big deal for me. And um, I haven't had a problem with having a small flap on this bag. This pocket actually comes in handy for like gum or receipts or just anything small that you need to throw in really quickly. So, Behind that there's three, you have three pockets that are just open pockets and on the Shaley they decided to add pockets that have zippers and so that things were a little more secure. In this Madeline bag I've never had a problem with things falling out. So I don't think that the Shaley is necessarily better because it has zippers and it's more safe and secure but if you are worried about things that you're putting you're putting in quickly being safe then this would probably be a better option for you this bag also has only two pockets while this one has three pretty nice size pockets that you can fit things in I wanted to show you really quickly that a water bottle will fit in here so if you had like a sippy cup or like a water bottle it looks pretty good in the Madeline and it fits nicely in there. If you're wanting to have access to water quickly and you want your bottles to be on the outside of your bag, the Madeline does fit a bottle or a sippy cup on the outside. Whereas this bag, the pockets are wide, but they're a little bit shorter and a bottle will fit in there, but I mean, it doesn't hold it as well and it looks like a little bit awkward. So. If you wanted to, you could put one in there, but 
it doesn't fit as good or look as nice as that one does. One more thing I wanted to mention about these pockets is I love how in the Madeline I can just reach in and out and grab the things that I need and anything that I need to keep safe I keep under this snap pocket. In this Shaley bag, if it's fully packed, then these zippers kind of catch my my hand a little bit and it scratches me <laughs> sometimes. It's not a huge deal, but it is something that bugs me just a little bit is having those that zipper kind of scratch your hand if the bag is full. It looks like the Madeline bag has pockets that are a little bit taller and the Shaley has pockets that are a tiny bit wider. All three of these bags are a little bit different in their size. The Megan bag is obviously the biggest. It is the widest and the tallest and it's best for multiple kids or if you're going to be traveling a lot. Uh, you can fit a lot in this bag and it doesn't look too fat or anything. It's a really great size bag if you don't want your bag to look stuffed. The Shaley and the Madeline are obviously similar in size. The Shaley is a little bit taller and thinner while the Madeline is a little bit wider and shorter. So if I put it next to it, you can see the Shaley is a little bit taller but the Madeline is a little bit wider. So depending on what you need to carry and what you're going to pack, that's going to really help you decide which bag size will work best for you. I wanna talk about the inserts that come with the bags really quickly. The Megan bag and the Madeline bag both have the large size insert and the Shaley bag has the medium size insert. So the only difference is it's a little bit all the pockets in the Shaley feel a little bit smaller to me when I'm filling it full of things. These pockets seem to get full quicker, while whereas these pockets seem like they have a little bit more space to them. Another difference is on the medium bag insert, you have one pocket, while on the large one you have two pockets. So you have a little bit more space, a little bit more room, if you can see this. There's the large one, and there's the medium one. So you have quite a bit more space with that large one. And like I said, I feel like these pockets are a little bit more spacious and have a little bit more room to them. Essentially, they're the same. They have the same amount of pockets, except for that side, extra side pocket. Each bag has a really nice changing pad. And they all have the snap feature so that you can snap it in and out of your bag easily. All the inserts are also made of a nice premium poly fabric that's nice and smooth so it will slide in and out of your bag really nicely and easily. And it's perfect when you are giving your stuff, your baby stuff to a babysitter. You can take that out, give it to the babysitter, and then you have your nice leather bag. I want to talk about the weight of the bags really quickly because I know some people are worried that the Megan bag is like super heavy and really cumbersome to carry because it is a bigger bag. Um, this canvas material actually makes a really big difference. The Megan bag is 2.2 pounds with all the accessories. The Madeline bag is 2.3 pounds without accessories. And the Shaley bag is 2.1 pounds without the accessories. So this Megan bag between these three that I have right here is actually the lightest bag because it is in canvas. But if you did buy this bag in leather, it would be 2.7 pounds. So it's not that big of a difference, but depending on what you want, again, if you want something that's going to be really light, then I would go with canvas. If you are okay with a little bit of extra weight, then I think the leather is going to be a little bit more durable. The leather bags clean up really nicely and easily. and the canvas bag, I usually just take a lint roller and kind of roll it on it. You can kind of spot clean it if you need to, but if you can see, the one thing that does bug me a little bit about the canvas is that it will get a little bit of lint on there. If that's something that's going to bug you, then I would spend the extra to get leather just because it's going to last you longer anyways. With that said, this canvas is a really nice thick canvas, and I think it will be really durable for you for many years to come. I love all of these bags for different reasons. Uh, the Megan bag, I love that you can fit so much stuff in it and it still looks really cute. You can wear it backpack style. It's a great travel bag. 
These two bags I love because of the style of them, how they look, and I love wearing these two as just a purse for myself. They can fit a lot without looking huge. I absolutely love that these bags are so beautiful and look like purses, but they're so versatile and you can use them for so many different things. And I love, love, love that they all can be worn as backpacks because that is my very favorite way to carry my bags. I have two little boys and chasing after them, it's so much easier to have my hands free and have the bag on my back. So I'm glad I don't have to sacrifice style for function. Again, I wanna thank Lily Jade for sending me this beautiful Shaylee bag. I'm in love with it. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will have a written review on poppinsapproved.com and I'll have lots of pictures, photos, comparing these three bags so that you can see what they look like at different angles. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe below. I hope you guys have a great day.